Oh, how dare you go out. Keep it clean after every trip. Some SOS pads. Yeah, I'll probably do that one time. <laughs> yeah. I like the black better. <laughs> and it um, it boils faster when when it goes black. It soaks in more of the heat. Let it sit for a few minutes. Crazy bear. Hi. You have any good morning?
need a hatchet anymore? <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Can we stay in the middle of the canoe today? <laughs> <laughs> 80 meters. It's gonna be a killer portage. It's Catfish Lake. a deer and fix my string. Yeah, that's it. I see it. Cool. 
go check her out. Up, up, Chris. Logging alligator. Huh. So at this little island on Catfish Lake, um, there is an old logging alligator, uh, as you can see. So basically it's a steam powered tugboat that was used by loggers to move bundles of logs across Algonquin Park, uh, both over land and water. Um, it had winches that would pull it across the land. Um, and yeah, basically it was a really good tool for the loggers back in the day um, to be able to bring big loads of logs across the park. Um, just a really cool piece of history. Very cool that they leave it here for us to, to be able to go and see. It's not hurting anything. It's on a very small island. Um, but yeah, very, very cool piece of history. As I'm surprised. <laughs> you want to explain why we're here? Um, so we got caught in gusting gale, dangerous winds, and so we decided to pull off and wait it out in this little refuge. But it's okay because we have Annie's and bacon and Mr. Noodles, so it's all gonna be okay. Right? Right. Oh, the sun. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> oh, that's a good thing. <laughs> I see the portage. Yep. Yeah. I can see it too. Yeah. 5.20 from Catfish to Luckless. Thank <laughs> you. 
straight across. So right now we're in Luckless Lake. Going to the big port top. Pretty much straight ahead of us, to the right. My eyes are watering right now, I can't see anything. Oh yeah, I see it. I think that's it. Yep. Lots of rocks right there. So here we start a 2,900 meter portage into the Nipissing River from Luckless Lake. And I, and I didn't end up turning on the GoPro, so I just thought I'd talk about it a little bit. We were trying to boogie. Um, it was getting late in the day. And uh, anyways, we did it in a really good time and we were rewarded with uh, the sun coming out at the end, which is really nice. Oh, hello. <laughs> 2,960 meters. In 40 minutes, without stopping. Woo! River. You don't mind continuing? Not at all. We'll be out of here in like an hour and a half tomorrow. There's that campsite. Cool. That didn't take long. I'm gonna say we keep going. I think so. After about an hour and a half paddle down the Nipissing River, we found our final campsite of the trip and it was perched up high on a steep riverbank. And it's very hard to tell on this, but it is quite steep. <laughs> 
It doesn't look steep at all on camera. No? No. It's freaking ridiculous. It's like a walk in the park. Pretty <laughs> <laughs> steep. The hell is worse than 3,000 meters. <laughs> Pretty view from here, though. This nice little campsite. Tent pad. Oh, that's gonna be good. I'm excited. Yeah, this is good. This oh, one. Delicious. Shepherd's pie. With no peas. <laughs> the way it's supposed to be. No. Deer bomb. It is chilly. What? It's chilly. My sock. <laughs> Yay. Found it. We got camp all set up for the night. We started the fire, we were able to start our dinner, and uh, just kind of start relaxing after a long day of travel. And at this point I didn't have much battery life left, so I wanted to save some juice for the trip out. Um, so I didn't end up filming the rest of the night, but we mostly just relaxed. Um, had a delicious dinner of shepherd's pie, and uh, then we just went out to bed.
Gear bomb. <clears throat> Right now. <laughs> spray coming off that.
think light thoughts. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> You're just like. <laughs> get, your, get your weight up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kilometer is easy. Okay. That one kilometer was pretty easy. Speak for yourself. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't too bad. <laughs> I could have gone at least another 50 meters before dying. <laughs> Grab something when your rope's tied around your finger. <laughs> Good boy, Grizzly Bear. Great. Into cedar. Okay, so I have no idea how we didn't get video of this, but I always joke about Cedar Lake and how there's always a headwind, no matter which direction you're going. And for some reason on this day, we had a tailwind and obviously we took advantage of it. Um, I was able to use my raincoat as a, <laughs> as a sail and I used my paddle to prop it up and Brandon was steering at the back and we flew. <laughs> I have no idea how we didn't get this on video, but it was pretty awesome. <laughs> I see Chucky. That's a big rock right there. Oh my God, that's a lot of big rocks. This way, this way, this way. Hey guys, so I just finished editing this video and I realized I never did an outro. Um, it was Brandon and I's first trip together and uh, I was still getting used to kind of filming in front of him. So uh, we're planning on doing a lot more canoe trips this coming summer. 
So if you, hopefully you guys will stay tuned for that and, uh, and uh, the filming will be much better, I assure you. So um, we had a great time. I forget how much, how many kilometers we did, but I, I think it was close to 30, close to 30 anyway, um, maybe a little more. I think we averaged about 10 kilometers to 12 kilometers a day. So um, yeah, anyways, thank you guys very much for watching this video. I hope it got you stoked for spring paddling. Um, I think ice out's just around the corner. So uh, we're really looking forward to getting out too. I've started kind of thinking about planning some more trips and uh, getting all my gear ready and maintained and stuff. So. so that's it for this one, guys. Thanks very much. And we'll see you on the next one.